Hello everyone and welcome back. Thank you for stopping by. I hope that everybody is doing well and I hope that everybody is being kind. So in today's video, what I'm going to talk about is the Louis Vuitton Recto Verso. I have been holding off talking about this item because I had just received it. Now that it's been over a month, I can honestly talk to you about it and let you know my opinion on it. Um, so like I said, I received this over a month ago and I have used it ever since. It has been my wallet since the day I got it and I could not be happier. I will tell you what I love about it and I will tell you the few things that I don't like about it. So to start off with, I have just pulled it out of my purse the way that I am using it because I wanted to make this video as honest as possible and this is the way that it is in my purse currently. So I do not let this little key part holder, I don't let that go on the inside of it because it does take up a lot of the space that I utilize to put bills in. So if you're not gonna use the center compartment, you can totally put this in there. I do not think it will fit if you put keys on it and then you try to stick it in the little compartment and zip it up. I do not think that will work. Maybe just a key fob or a maybe just a key, um, the alarm to your car, maybe that will work. I'm not too sure because I have not done that. Um, because already, as you can see, it's a little bit bowed. The zipper is a little bit bowed because of the items that I do have inside of the zipper, which are not very many, and it's already doing that. So that's one of the things I do not like about it, that it does bow out like that when it does have things inside of the zipper. So what I wanna show you is what I have in the zipper, which is nothing. Basically a few bills, which is one, two, it's just a two bills in here and some coin. So basically I got this item because I wanted to carry coins as well. If you saw my uh, Recto Verso unboxing video, you would know that I bought this because I needed a place to put coins because I was using the Neo card holder, which I absolutely love as well but it didn't have a place to put my coins in. So this is where I put my coins. I don't have very many right now, but I wanted you to know that if you wanted to put coins in here and you wanted to put bills in, in the same place, what you need to do is basically squeeze the life out of this thing, align the coins very flatly and place the bills behind it so that it will fit nicely. Because if you don't, if you try to put the bills on top of the coin, what happens is the bills stick out and then when you try to zip it, you zip your bills and you tear them. So that is one thing. Or another fix could be that you just don't put bills in there and you put it in some other spot, which is totally fine to do as well. And it's probably um, a little bit more convenient for you. So another thing that I like, well, that was a dislike, so let's go, let's finish the dislikes. Um, another thing I don't like is when I try to pull out my cards, if they're not the first one or the last one, it's a little bit difficult to pull out. This is my driver's license, and it's a little bit hard to stick in. As you can see, it's bending, um, but I believe that that will just fix itself in time because the canvas needs to stretch a little bit. As you know, canvas does not stretch very much because if you did have the same wallet in the Emprunt leather, it would be a lot more flexible than this canvas. So I'm thinking that that's what it is. And once I use it more, like the Neo card holder was at the beginning, was very stiff. And then it did flex out a little bit, not very much, but just a little bit. So then that would probably that would probably be the case with this one as well, the more I use it. And I think that that is why this first compartment is the way it is, because you see how easy that was? Because I use this more and I use this one more as well. And this one, of course, is a lot more of a space to handle your card with. So that's why that one is a little bit better. But this top one is definitely because I use this card way more than I use the rest of the cards, so I don't pull the rest out as much. So that is the second reason why I don't like this as much, but that is 
it. That is basically it. One more thing that I can probably mention, which isn't a big deal, but when you put items in this compartment right here, if it's not something like a card, like a plastic coated card, and it's like paper, um, it can stick to the canvas. So when you pull it out, it'll you'll hear that kind of like that sticky sound while you're pulling out your paper, your receipt, or something like that. Um, it will stick to the canvas. So what I've done, and that is why I've done this, um, I have put two credit cards, one on this side, one on this side, and I've sandwiched my receipts and little papers in between so that that doesn't happen when I pull out my contents from this little pocket right here. So that is another thing to consider. Like I said, it really doesn't bother me because I have found a fix for it, but I did want to just mention it because that is probably my third reason that I don't, I don't want to say I don't like it because I absolutely love it, but that would be my third dislike to this item. All right, so that is pretty much the only three dislikes that I have. The rest is just pure love. I absolutely love this, like I've said about 20 times already. And um, reason being, there are just so many compartments in this little thing. I have cards in here, I have gift cards, um, insurance cards in this first compartment, which is where you can actually put your bills. You don't need to put it where your coins are, and that is totally fine. And that would probably fix the issue of your bills um, getting zipped um, improperly. I mean, not properly. Or you can probably put them in here or whatever you'd like. You can organize this, of course, to your liking, but this is the way I am carrying it. I never attach this to my bag. I just haven't done that. And I'm just being honest, I have never attached this to the inside of any of my bag. Um, it's just pretty much dangling like that and I like it that way, it's nice. Um, I love the feel of it, I love the concept of having everything in one, um, just one stop shop basically. It is perfect for me. The size is great, it's not big at all. I am currently carrying smaller bags. So when I transition from bag to bag, this is just a totally good fit to all of my bags because it is so small. Now, if I were to carry something like, um, uh, I don't have a bum bag, but if I did, this would fit perfectly in it. Um, if I wanted to carry something smaller than that or I wanted to maximize any space, then I would totally go for just a card holder. Um, instead of this whole thing, but this is perfect in my opinion besides those three things that I told you that aren't really that bothersome to me. I can totally deal with them um, because I love this item so much that I don't care. I carry this all the time. I've been using it every single day and I do not regret the purchase, not one bit. So not this little bit, I do not regret it. It is a definite, um, must have for me and I am actually currently doing away with the rest of my wallets because I don't use them and um, as you probably know my channel isn't about um, collecting items you know luxury items just collecting and collecting um, just as for me it's not a sustainable thing to do I mean maybe I do wish I could do that but but it's not what I do is I am just rotating between things that I'm using and I only purchase things that I know that are going to be staples in my wardrobe and that I'm going to use for many, many years. And so this is definitely one of them. And my larger wallets that I have not used at all, I am looking to sell those because I just don't want them collecting dust in my closet. So I'm doing that right now and I am just using this little guy for right now. And I, of course I have my Neil card holder and I don't plan on selling that at all just because it's just so functional and so pretty. Um, I do have it in the uh, monogram and the black Macassar leather. So I do love that combination. It is my favorite. As you can see it here, it's super nice, super effortless and carefree because you don't have to worry about any of the, the shuttle leather. So that is pretty much it. I didn't want to it, this isn't like a review, it's just pretty much my thoughts on this. Um, 
and I love it guys I am so happy that I bought it I was um, initially on the fence about it I wasn't sure if I was just going to like it as much as I do and I wasn't sure if I was going to utilize it as much as I do but I definitely 100% recommend this if I haven't said that already and if you haven't gathered that from this video yet I just wanted to say that I do definitely recommend this it is a very very beautiful well thought of piece and I am super excited that I have it and I'm very thankful that I have it in my collection so guys, that is it for this video. I do thank you for tuning in and for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on my Instagram, same name as I do have here. I will insert it down below. It is Stephanie Nelson underscore SN. I do share more of my life over there as to my family and as well as some luxury items because I do want to be real with you guys and I want to share all of my experiences with you as well so if that is something that you are interested in please go ahead and follow me there as I always say please never forget to be kind to one another and I will see you guys in my next video thanks so much for watching